Alright. Uh, first video for a while. This is a special occasion because Life is Strange has been released for Linux. Uh, it's another Square Enix game. It's another Feral Port. It is an excellent game. I'm going to concentrate mostly in this video on uh, my opinions of it and my experiences of it. I did play it a bit earlier. I attempted the first video, but too much messing around. Let's just turn that down a bit more. I'll just show you what I've got set on the video settings. So I've got high to medium, low anti-aliasing, uh, full screen. There is an issue for me in Fedora launching the game. The window is just invisible. If I alt tab to something else and alt tab back, then it uh, seems to work just fine. After that point, uh, I'm using my Steam controller. I'm not in big picture mode. Uh, the only other thing before we start is that uh, by default I run my Steam client without the Steam runtime. But this is one of those games that doesn't work with that on Fedora because of the uh, lib SSL incompatibility with the Steam runtime. If you're on Fedora you've probably come across it already. Uh, just warning you. For me it doesn't work without the runtime. I've not tried to do any hacks yet. I've just restarted Steam with the runtime enabled and it runs apart from that window issue. Right, let's continue. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! So we join at a moment of a uh, uh, high drama. Another shitty day. You've just saved a girl's life by that changing did not happen. changing time. This cannot be real. Uh, I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? So Do it's a choice and, choice and consequences enter, with a twist that you don't have to live with any consequences because you can rewind time. Uh, well, up until the last uh, hey, the last scene. Do you hear that fire anyway. alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. So you are controlling this character, Girls Max. always use that excuse. Uh, a teenage girl who's excuse returned for home what? after moving away. For whatever you're away. up to, your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then this trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Internationally famous photographer. Thank program. you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. So, we'll carry on. I'm going to go ahead and talk to the principal, which will demonstrate. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. You look Let's a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. So, uh, at this point where we make this crystal decision, I'll just point, I'll just say that where I've started is at the end of the old free demo. Now that the game's released on Steam for Mac and Linux, you can get the whole episode one for free. So. There's no point watching this video. I for just the story. saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this. So without you can play this for yourself. I was right hiding now, behind a stall. For free. I have the right to be the there. It's one. the girls' room. I, I know. Do, I know. No I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott That's happens to be from the town's most the distinguished family, well, not all and of it, one of Blackwell's it. most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. 
Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Sorry. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. At this point, of course, this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott think. family Maybe that was the wrong choice. Well Should I rewind then? and change my story? Go. Boom. And wait for it to rewind. There we go. And have that momentous decision again. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm. I'm. Just a little worried about my Now you may future. think this you're ability to uh, basically change your mind about everything actually in the game rather than by funny. hacking save files or would have totally, you done would something totally wrong? ruin a choice of content Is that it? style adventure. Well, Max, talk to me. But actually, if we now hide the truth... I just got sick in class. Uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. So There's that tune toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't now think the parents will approve when they choices find out. About now get outside, yeah, class. More or less. Please. It's a. Uh, uh, no, he does not buy that at all. I may so have just you can either report the guy down with the gun, toilet. and he won't believe you, or yes, you can I deny it, and you'll believe you're hiding something. Uh, so, I'm going to leave it as it is at the minute. It's not important, obviously, for this particular uh, playthrough. I'm going to go outside because there's lots more interesting stuff out there as far as the uh, way the game goes. So the art style is a sort of... Um, it's not realistic. I'm not sure what the exact um, designation is, but I like it. It's you know, slightly cartoony. Very nice. The music is excellent. I love the music. I love generally the little touches and details. So, like, if I hit back, you'll see here I have a journal, and I can read through this journal all I want. And this is all. It's not crucial to the plot, but it's background information. It's inside the mind of the character, but it's all optional. It's discoverable. Is that the right word for it? So if, if you like discovering stuff, you can look at everything you want. If you just want to play through the game, you can just play through the game and ignore all this crap. You'll get through the game a lot quicker, obviously. You maybe won't enjoy it as much, but uh, you know, I think it's quite fun. Go and look at everything. So there are some achievements and stuff for getting these pictures taken. These these all relate to stuff in the game. I am I'm gonna tumble down here. There's a whole bunch of people. You can talk to nearly everybody. That's your teacher. Although it does sometimes Rachel Amber. There we go, Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Significant significant information. So there are these various spots you find them where you can sit down and you this uh, day has been so insane. get a little monologue everything is happening too fast a lot of talking I think in this particular scene there are three places where you can sit down these visions this so power. there's all these little touches stuff that you I can keep uh, expecting to wake up one more time Stuff that you but can if discover. This is a dream, then I'm not asleep. And like I said earlier, they're Which not they're not crucial to the plot. I did rewind time. Uh, but so there has to be a reason. If you if you like and taking it easy in games, it's, they're nice to sit and listen. 
we were beating it up, that was it. Squirrels, major feature of, of the game, I'll tell you now. We can look at things. This is a great Ooh. image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody... I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Warren's interrupting us. Warren wants his flash drive. So there you go. You get text messages. This is similar to the journal bit. You, you get some background information on the characters, stuff like that. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Yeah, we're not going to do that. We're going to continue wandering around. So there's a statue. So you see I have the photo option on that. So let's just go to my journal. And you'll see, look, there's a sort of hand-drawn statue picture there. How, what a coincidence. I bet the Blackwell founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones. Let's take a picture of the statue. That's where we've given a big hint. And we get a little icon to say we've got the picture. And there we go, we've got the picture. So there are these photos to collect. They're not always that obvious. Sometimes you have to rewind time to figure out what the solution is. It's uh, another cool thing. If you if you get it right, you can fly Brooks' drone, which is around here somewhere. Can't see it. And yeah, I think we've we've covered all the key uh, features of the game as opposed to the plot which you can enjoy for yourself like I said this first episode is free and really I'm just trying to get across how much I like this game um, I don't often anymore buy games exclusively to buy in wine on Linux I tend to uh, just stick to the games that have been released but I picked up episode one of this in a humble bundle at the start of the year, and then how on earth drum. Having played it, I really couldn't contain myself, and I just bought the rest of it the next time it was in the Steam sale and played it all the way through and why. It, it, I really found it that good. Um, obviously, it tastes very. Well. You might not find this because I do, but it's if you're into these sort of adventure games, I think this is possibly the best one there's ever been. Uh, and now it's out on Linux, which is excellent. So uh, you should definitely check it out. Uh, we'll wind it up here before I spoil anything else. And uh, yeah, Life is Strange released for Linux uh, about eight hours ago.